As head of the New Generation Foundation for Human Rights, Hamdi Al-Azazi works to help refugees in Egypt. Before a few years, I heard from one Bedouin about the spare parts, body spare parts. But I can't accept in the time it is true or not true. It seems an outrageous claim. But Azazi has evidence, a series of photos he took of bodies that were found in the desert. All of them have unusual scars in the abdominal area. Azazi says he even knows where the operations are carried out. He claims corrupt doctors are in league with Bedouins involved in human trafficking. Corneas, livers and kidneys are the organs most commonly taken from the helpless refugees. After take whatever they like or the doctor choose from this body, after take the body and uh, take it away to the desert. An incredible claim. So we took the photos to a forensic doctor in Cairo. Dr. Fahri Saleh is the former head of Cairo's forensic department and an expert on the illegal organ business. He says the stitches on the bodies reveal they were operated on shortly before they died. There are two kinds of scars. One is from a post-mortem autopsy and one from surgery. On all the bodies, the scars are in the same place. Good stitches. It is good stitches. Good stitches here. And this is also the area of liver and kidney. Yes, it is the, the area here. It is near the liver and near the kidney here. Kidney here mm -hmm. and the liver here. So you could open here and then just take yes, it Yes, and take it. Mm -hmm. Extracting organs would likely kill a person in a matter of hours, Dr. Saleh says. They could open you up, take it out, and just let you die. The mafia doesn't care whether you live or die. When they cut you open, they would give them anesthesia, not because they are concerned for your life, but to prevent them from crying out.